divine masculine what is going on you guys it is scorpion reds tebo i am back at it again yes indeed to let you know what the daily bread is for april the 11th and the 12th yes tomorrow thursday and friday all right shout out to all my new subscribers what's up what's up what's up um also if anyone wants to book a personal private reading make sure that you hit that about tab there's a hyperlink down there that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again scorpion reds tarot as simply book me make sure after you book your reading that you use that secondary link right under there that is my instagram send me a message there because i only do video chats okay so if you want um if you don't want to get directly on camera i don't suggest it because we won't be able to interact with each other however you can always feel free to um select the add-on which is a direct YouTube personal video upload but that is an additional $10 on top of your um, reading selection so that is how you book with me if you would like to um, give a love donation if this video resonates at any time and you want to give a love donation my PayPal information is in the description let's get into the reading all right, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the Divine Masculine. Thank you so much for bringing us here in this strength. Thank you so much for keeping us strong with our head held high and determined to move forward and just have, you know, daily progress and, you know, better days moving forward into the future. Father God, please give us guidance for the Divine Masculine for April the 11th and the 12th, Thursday and Friday. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that we've had in the past, present, and in the future. Please give us guidance again for April the 11th and the 12th for the Divine Masculine. Thank you again, Father. Thank you so much. All right. So, let's get into, let's get into you guys. Making it God's. Wow, I ain't seen that card yet. Not even in the Florida water. Why every time the Divine Masculine, I'm doing Divine Masculine. Did the same song with Salons talk about it still can't be washed away. Not even in the Florida water. Come on. What in the world have y'all done, Divine Masculine? What cannot be washed away? Not even in the Florida water. What is going on? Princess of Wands. Temperance. All right. Finding that balance. Learning how to control desires. And, you know. Black Ben. Blackberry the Mass. changed in the night oh yeah it says changed and then you just changed overnight you have changed quickly okay something you just had some overnight big ass transition but you're not you don't you don't believe for some reason hmm okay divine masculine i'm liking that you done changed overnight okay what come on now Y'all ain't trying to fight with no people no more. Y'all trying to... <laughs> hey! Black glasses. Black buried in masses. Okay. I'm, I'm really feeling the change. <laughs> Divine Masculine is like, well, I'm tired of this shit. I really do feel like Divine Masculine is taking a big thorough look at... Stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Goodness gracious. Now, what is this saying? You are giving too many fucks. <laughs> Mask. You what? 
What in the hell? Stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Who y'all been like stalking on Divine Masculine? I feel like <laughs> oh boy and you giving too many fucks about a situation and it's like you don't want to continue to you don't want to continue to argue about throat chakra you better learn how to speak up and you don't have no hope lord jesus divine man so come on father come on father reach down and touch this man reach down and touch this man but he's going through the changes that he's needed he's learning that he needs to start speaking up because all that looking and all of that shit like that that you're doing, it ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to speak your truth, what good does it make? Seven of coins, the three of cups. There go that damn seven of coins again with someone with that damn baby. I'm trying to tell you, this seven of coins with this baby boy, every time I see this card come out, I just be like, and what the heck do the seven of coins have a damn baby? Karmic partner, Lord. Father, Father. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Listen, Divine Masculine. I don't know what type of little pickle you done got yourself into, but you finna change it. You said, look, I ain't even about to entertain this tomfoolery no goddamn more. So I'm about to change very soon. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for some change to happen in my material world so I can do what I need to do with my love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, so the center energy for tomorrow, April the 11th, is change. Okay, where is my wand at? Anyway, it says change. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. <laughs> All you need is that one next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into who can take it oh and to one who can take it hold on child y'all know i can't read in the name of jesus come on father help me today come on bring me bring me bring me more than a third grade ed educational read reading status or something just father just touch me real quick let me try this one more again come on father okay so it says change <laughs> don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps all you need is that one next action you can say to love just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it so i feel like what this is basically saying to the divine masculine i don't really feel like the divine masculine really knows how to love or be in love or really be a good person in a relationship and not to be disrespectful at all because i ain't trying to be disrespecting i ain't disrespecting i'm just saying like let's let's call a spade a spade let's call a thing a thing how um bill cuttingham said uh put the cheese on the cracker my nigga you gotta put the cheese on the cracker this man don't know how to be in no relationship this man has been in this way of just being who he is for so long and it's something that literally he's going to have to come to God for for this change because I feel like the divine masculine has probably tried before to just kind of put himself in that cocoon and blossom and himself into that butterfly so that he could fly. But he don't even know the beginning steps of what tree to crawl up or just what to do. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this divine masculine chases young women, you know. This, this man chased this young woman because this is what was easy for him. Okay? This is, you know, 
what was easily obtainable. And I feel like this man changed very quickly overnight where he don't even desire little dumb young things that he could just fuck easily. I mean, that's really just what it boils down to because it's like these are immature women that are just learning how to use their feminine wilds and just <laughs> kind of you know they're just growing into womanhood so like they're so naive and they can just they're easy they're low bearing they're low hanging fruit you know what i'm saying like but the black and the berry the sweetest juice the the, the blackberries they at the top of the tree you gonna have to climb you might get stuck by a couple thorns but honey it's worth that climb honey you understand so to i don't know I don't know if I was making any sense with the low hanging fruit or whatever, but I'm just saying that these were just easy. And just now it's just been a big ass change with Divine Masculine. He don't want easy no more. He don't want immature, you know? Because with, with, with easy and immature comes a whole bunch of bullshit. Because a whole bunch of bullshit, a whole bunch of dumbass arguments come a lot of immature, um, insecure, uh, Stu it's just it's just a lot of stupidity and it's just like i'm not about to be keep every time i turn around the corner is i'm having to pick up this stick and fight a different battle with this person one minute is because i'm coming home too late i start coming home and then now you annoyed because i'm at home and i'm getting on your nerves so it's just like well what, what the fuck do you like like, like it, it's <laughs> it's just with these young individuals it just it it's it's too much you know what i'm saying in, in regards to the stop texting stop stalking stop checking on that person just fucking stop i feel like um it's somebody in your atmosphere that you look back to that you you that you're doing this to it says spend your time on someone worth it don't waste your time on ridiculousness no i feel like this is the person that this young person that they're dealing with they're telling you to stop texting stop stalking stop checking on that person just fucking stop i feel like it's something that, this, that these young people be doing whoever this young person is that the divine masculine done got their self involved with i feel like they done met they match they done met someone of their own kind because they don't trust this person and this person has done something where clearly, you know, where spirit is telling them to spend your time on something that's worthwhile. You know, and to stop checking on this person for some reason. This person has done something to make the divine masculine feel like something ain't real. Something ain't real. And then divine masculine woke up real fucking quick and was just like, hold on. To, you just changed real dr drastically. Just... <laughs> Just real drastically. I just want to see what this says. I want to read what this says. It says, Dear, dear, how queer everything is today. And yesterday things went just as usual. I wonder if I've been changed in the night. Sometimes we change slowly. A little change here, a small adjustment there. Chinese shifts day by day. And over time we grow into a very different version of ourselves. But at other times we feel like we have changed in the night. Our, our, hold on, I can't even, hold on, I gotta turn this down. So, it says, our day might suddenly, without warning at all, be very queer indeed. For Alice, and perhaps for you, when you receive this card, there is a sense that so much has changed in an instant. That the world has quite suddenly been turned upside down or right side up. And we have not had a moment to grow used to this new reality. The way we are now, or rule of this world we find ourselves inhabiting that didn't sound right and we have not had a moment to grow used to this new reality the way we now or the rules of this world we find ourselves inhabiting okay so that you haven't had a chance to adjust to this new world and just the rules you know and how things go with this something happened Something happened dealing with young ass motherfuckers that changed drastically with the divine masculine where they woke the fuck up. And they was just like, this is ridiculous 
foolishness. Like, and honestly, like, I'm too grown. I'm too grown for this shit. And I feel like the Divine Masculine, one thing that he always has problem with is his throat chakra. It's his throat chakra. And I felt like he invested time in this situation waiting for the fruits of his investments so he can harvest it. And he's been patient, but I think he ended up with a baby more than what he financially thought he, yeah, there's a baby. That's coming very soon into his material world. His whole life has changed. That there's that that fucking baby. It's always. It, I don't know what's going on with the divine masculines in these damn just think these babies, but something. And it's like, but at the same time, he feels like the situation with this person that he's dealing with is childish. And he don't trust something. I, oh, this this shit make me want to fucking dig, man. But this ain't this this just supposed to be a daily fucking bread, man. Shit. Anyway, let me finish, man. I ain't even finished reading this shit. It says, when a time like this come, we can be shocked, a little numb, and have a trouble finding our way back to center ourselves. If you feel like you have been changed in the night, that your life has been quite drastically and quite suddenly changed then take a moment remember your values your feelings yourself look about you steady yourself and take a deep breath if you've been rocked in your sense of self and we and your sense of reality it's going to take a little time for you to resettle continue to connect with your core self be good to you and take it easy but steadily, remember you are finding out who you truly are. Until this moment, you only knew who you could be when you faced certain predictable circumstances. Now that so much has changed, you will find out so much more about yourself. And in time, this will enrich you very much. The divination. Suddenly, unexpected changes have happened. A shock, an unexpected news adjusting to a new situation, finding out more about who you are, inexperienced and uncertainty, an identity crisis due to change in certain circumstances. Like I said, stop messing. If y'all haven't seen my Divine Masculine story, I advise you to go check it out. Okay? It's the part two of um, the monthly, what is it? The, the monthly, uh, what is it saying? Um, God spared me. So if y'all haven't heard my divine masculine story about what I just find, found out, I want y'all to go check it out because here it is coming again. And then, like I said, I talk to a lot of you guys in the comment sections and through personal readings. A lot of you guys, the, the, the y'all's y'all's exes. I'm not saying these are your divine masculine for the women that are cross watching. I'm not saying that, that, that this man is your divine masculine because it's not. This is your ex that got you to the point that you needed to get to to get you to your point of your life as a divine feminine. Okay? And to get him in his point as a divine masculine. Well, right now, this man is recognizing his life just changed because the way his... The, the way that he's been moving in his life has caught up with his ass. Has caught up with his ass. Him fucking around with these young ass girls has caught up with his motherfucking ass. And that's why it's saying, don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps because he ain't even take the first step yet. And this motherfucker is scared because this motherfucker has been in and realized that he's about to go into the fight of his life and I don't feel like you know what I'm saying? I feel like this person is prepared. This motherfucker is ready for the fight. I don't feel like this one is ready for the fight. I don't feel like this one wants to fight anymore. At all. This motherfucker woke up and realized, what the fuck am I doing? What am I giving my energy to? Let me stop texting. Let me stop checking on this person because this divine masculine does not trust this motherfucker. This person has met someone of their own fabric. 
They were fed their own poison. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. But they already signed themselves up for ridiculousness. And now they're trying to find a way. Because again, this is change. This is challenge with that number five. This is them having to learn how to be adaptable. And speak their throat chakra. Are we right? It's time for you to be a man and speak up. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And stand firm in it. Show action. You know what I'm saying? If you say, look, I'm about to stop texting you. I'm about to stop even worrying about you. I'm about to just motherfucking stop. You know what I'm saying? Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm being 100 with you. I'm just waiting for this baby to come. I'm just being patient. I'm just waiting for this baby to come. All right? You know, I know this baby about to come here very soon. You know? So I'm about to just stack my money. And, and that's about to be that. But I damn sure I'm not about to be arguing with you no more. So I'm just, I'm about to just stop communicating with you unless it's something with this baby. You know what I'm saying? That's the only fruit that we about to bear in this situation. Like, honestly, I feel like the divine masculine is being patient to deal with this person and figure out how they're going to adjust and immaterialize the next 40 steps. I f they feel like the next 40 years of their life that they... <laughs> they got to deal with this young ass, with this young immature person. that don't. And, and I don't feel like this, that, that divine masculine... And no offense to anyone that's across watcher if they are the um, person that the divine masculine is currently dating or what the divine feminines would call the karmic so if you're the karmic cro cross watcher now i'm sorry but he doesn't even look at you like you're mature enough to even he look at he look at you like you're a child a princess of wands he doesn't look at you like you're mature and now and i feel like that that was the thing that once this baby got into the situation it woke the divine masculine up and they realized that they were dealing with a child i don't fucked around and got this bitch pregnant so this is what does this say making it gods and that was in the release i mean that was in the release that was in the release i don't understand why i said that but whatever believe the temperance believe in the reverse the hangman in the reverse y'all are good y'all done seen all y'all need to see <laughs> y'all done seen all y'all need to see y'all ready to get the fuck up and get out but y'all don't have no hope. The three of cups. I don't feel like y'all. Y'all don't know how to not. Always have a cycle. Or, uh, uh. I feel like y'all just go from one person to the. Uh, okay. Anyway. Making it God's. It says, release the idea of my, as soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right action gets shown. Free me from the prison of my dear Lord. So, I, I want to say that in this situation, um... You definitely don't get that. Um, I feel like. <laughs> didn't I say my release or something like that? Oh, so I, I'm trying to remember what the fuck I said. And I still want to say my release. Um, I deeply in my heart want to say that. This person has been praying to God. For their release. Like for their release. And it's. And I feel like when this person has been talking to God. Like this person has been saying. But I don't want my money. uh, My relationship. You know what I'm saying. My job. Um, and I deeply feel like. That. Money. Relationship and job. They're three things all in the same. So I do feel, because I know 
for many of the people that their divine masculine met the person that they're with at their job. So for it to say that in this card, it makes a lot of sense for me. And I feel like what this is trying to say to the divine uh, masculine is, is that God is saying, instead of you being so selfish in your words, thinking about my money, my relationship, my job, you know, you should think about the money, the relationship, the job, because it's not just about you and how you benefit or how you are affected by the money, the relationship, or the job. Because at the end of the day, if the relationship is at the job, it affects the money and affects the people at the job. Because if y'all are having issues like this and y'all work together, <laughs> so like and not trying to tie in like I said what I know about my situation and trying to make it correlate into this but I am because like I said I talk to other people and a lot of people they relate directly with my story um, I really do feel it's like this person has been praying to God like for their release, like for their release. And um, God is saying it's like you praying for this, but you're not trying to make it God's release. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like God is saying, when are you going to release me out of this cycle? Almost. Do you get me? Because this is a very selfish one sided conversation saying my, 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 my. You know what I'm saying? It's not just my money, because at the end of the day, if there's a baby in this situation, you got to care about the mother and the baby. If y'all work at the same job, whatever's going on in y'all relationship affects the energy at the job, which affects the money. So you got to take the selfishness out of it. So again, release the idea of my. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of my dear Lord. And I really do want to say, and like I said, this was in the reverse. You can't see the forest from the trees. I feel like this divine masculine doesn't. Because then at the end of the day, you're still ending this right here with another common partner. Do you see? I feel like this this man, he, he just goes from, listen, he goes from one to another to another. Do you see this here? And right now he's just waiting to go from, he's trying to pick from one of the two or three other broads that he's fucking with. And he's like, it's worth waiting for because I'm just about to dip off because I already got he uh, like this. This person like deals with a lot of people. And I'm just telling you about the cards that's on the table. OK, so right now, this person can't see the forest from the trees. But this person has changed overnight. But this person has to get to the point where they have to. You're going to continue. You're going to continue the cycle. Cause you gotta you gotta get to the point where you're satisfied within thyself and you don't need so many different faces and so many different spaces to satisfy you and to make you feel whole and balanced. Do you see what I'm saying? Because this person is looking for wholeness and balance and hope and faith. But at the end of the day, right here in the corner, you know, you don't have any hope. You're not really running to your faith. You're not really trusting in that. Only thing you're trying to do is set up shop so you can make the next move. That's why you're mingling. That's why you're, you know, you know, being social. So let me read. I'm sorry, you guys. It's so like I said, this person is trying to find balance. 
They're trying to find hope. They're trying to find faith. But right now, they don't believe. They don't believe. All right? Strange encounters. They just feel like they got themselves in a very particularly fucking strange situation. I feel like they've been able to maneuver in this way for so fucking long and never get caught up like this. They don't even know how to fucking like respond almost. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't even know how to respond. And it's like, listen, I ain't trying to be hung up in a situation like this. You know, I was listen. And I feel like right now they feel like they're giving too many fucks right now. Uh with all this conflict and this arguing and shit right now. They're at this point where like I give zero, like, you know. I give I need to give zero like it's they are I feel like they are giving a lot of energy to this situation and it's draining them. It's draining them. It's draining them. It's draining them to the fact when they don't have any hope into the future. Like the sun is not shining, they're not happy or nothing like that. Only thing they're doing is looking for a fucking another face. Another space. Another place. To parlay. I don't really think that it cares about what ethnicity, what shape, what personality. I honestly feel like they'll go and just celebrate and just have a good time with anybody. Just as long as they can get the fuck away. Or anything that can make them feel like that they have a little bit more hope in the future. Like I don't feel like they, they care who they fuck with. Because at the end of the day, if they see three beautiful girls in the club, they know how to finesse and get all of them and walk out of the place with all of their numbers. It ain't going to work all of them bitches. Like, that's that's just a, this person. That's who they are. And that's what gives them hope. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like they don't have any hope right now. So, it's just like, let me go out and mingle and stuff like that. Because, you know... Divine timing is at work in your love life. They feel like true love is worth waiting for. And just right now, this definitely ain't it. Right, You know, this ain't it. This was a common situation. And they going from one common situation right into the next. I mean, right into the next. Right into the next. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I feel like. To where is though the divine man, and I'm gonna be honest to God, truthful. I feel, and this is what I'm feeling like they just got kicked in their balls because I feel like the divine masculine was trying to fucking change. Like they were trying to fucking change. Am I lying? If there are any men in the room, am I lying? Put that in the comment section. Y'all were trying to change, weren't you? <laughs> Anyway, sorry about that, you guys. So let's 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 get into this breakdown here, shall we? Shall we, please? I don't even know how the fuck I had this shit. I think it was, yeah. Child cheese. I don't fucking remember, boo. I do not remember what I did here. Yeah, this is what I did. This is what I did. Okay, right. This is what I did, y'all. Right? Did I do this? I'm acting like y'all can respond back to me and I can actually see it. Whatever. We just going to go with, with how we got it rocking off right here. So right now, like I said, Divine Masculine, he's going through a very serious change in his life. And right now, he really just need to kind of get a situation to God and put God in it a little bit and stop being selfish and kind of thinking about only himself in this situation and think about the other people that are being affected. Not only just him, his family, the woman that he's dealing with, the baby that's there, if, um, because the baby situation is not going to resonate with everybody, but for the people that there is a baby in the situation, the baby, and if it's not a baby, just the people just, and just in general, just in y'all environment, like, the people that love you, the people that care about you, the people that you work with, when you come to work, if you're irritable and stuff like that, I mean, they are being affected by, you know, the things that you are doing, and, how it's making changes in, in your life and it's a, a affecting you physically and emotionally and how you are around other people. It, it affects other people. So 
you need to stop just thinking about yourself and find a way to gracefully adapt and be just, you know, it's just a better way to do it. You know what I'm saying? Put God into the situation. Give the situation to God. And like I said, you ain't even made the first step yet. You got 40 more to go. So you can't be pussyfooting around like whatever this changes, whatever this is that happened. If it wasn't a baby, whatever it is that has transpired is something that seems like it is going to change your life for the rest of your life. And you're going to have to adapt to this situation regardless if you like it or not. So, you know, you're going to have to learn how to roll with the punches. You learn that, you know maybe dating younger girls is not all what it's cracked up to be if you're a grown-ass man you need to deal with grown-ass women that understand grown-ass life responsibilities and now you got to deal with grown-ass life responsibilities now you're looking for faith hope change and balance you on bending knee you praying you know because you realize that you're dealing with someone that you think is a child Someone who isn't particularly mature enough to fit the bill. And you're going to have to be the mature one for the both of you guys. You know? So maybe all that, the, the clothes and all, you know, all of that, the, the, the body and all the fun and all. Yeah, and sex all the time and everything like that. Because this is about sex. This was this about sex. It was about nothing but sex and fun. You changed overnight. Real quick. And whatever happened, it put you in a place of something where you're in complete disbelief. Disbelief at your current environment. Okay? Strange encounters. <laughs> Strange encounters. I, I, I wanted to read that. Did I not read that? Strange Encounters. I'm sorry. I wanted to read that. 31. In the reverse. It says, in the reverse, uh, belief. Strange Encounters mean refusing to accept differences. Feeling that your, uh, that your spiritual encounters or mystical visions are unreal, untrue, or fantasy. Disliking being in an unfamiliar place or space. Finding people too different for you to really connect or engage with. A refusal or difficulty believing in the existence of elemental beings. Alright, so I really do feel like... I feel like almost whoever it is that you're dealing with, that you just, like, whatever it is that you thought this person or whoever you thought this person was or whatever you thought the situation was... It just changed overnight, and I don't even feel like you look at this person the same anymore. You look at this person like, I don't even know who the fuck this creature is. <laughs> you you look at this person like, all of that fantasy, that glitz and that glamour, and all of that fun, all of that shit went quickly out of the door. You don't look at this person the same no motherfuck more. You went in complete disbelief. You feel stuck. In this situation, you know, and some shit just changed over fucking night and you just can't even believe this strange encounter that has come in your life. It's like, OK, this shit got too serious. I don't want to play no more and I want to get the fuck down off this clock. I ain't got no time for this shit. I don't know how else to, to, to put this shit to you. They want to get the fuck down off of this clock. OK. Now that their whole life is upside down, they can see shit right side up, right? Because their whole life is up the fuck side down. And they realize that time ain't no joke. And it's going to be a lot of time. I feel like their whole, whole life is going to be suspended in air in this situation. And they're like, um, yeah, I can see very clear from this angle. I'm ready to get the fuck down now. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye now. All right. I'll see you. Oh, okay. You don't see me sneaking away, do you? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry.
yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, like, they're like, I'm not about to be keep doing this shit. Like, I'm not about to keep arguing with you. I'm not about to keep fighting with you. I'm not about to keep competing. It's a lot of fucking drama going on. And I mean, a lot of drama, bitch. A lot of fucking drama going on right now. A lot of drama going on right now with the Divine Masculine, okay? Because he don't trust this bitch that he's dealing with. He don't trust this bitch that he's dealing with. He's feel like, I, I'm giving too much of a fuck about the situation with this bitch. I'm about to give zero. It's something that is going on in this situation with this woman. He feels like, for him to say, stop texting, stop stalking this person. He is like almost investigating, trying to figure out what's going on. Stop checking on this person. Just fucking stop. It's something going on in this environment where the divine masculine is like, listen, I ain't trying to fucking fight like this. I ain't trying to battle. I ain't, I ain't trying to keep doing it. It's too much conflict. And they just like, I, I'm about to give zero fucks. I feel like they're going to walk away from a situation because they like, I'm giving too much energy to ridiculousness. And I feel like the divine masculine is like, anytime a bitch get me in this element, this how bitches act over me. I don't act like this over no bitch. I'm about to just like, what? Bitch, I don't give a fuck what's going on with you. I will leave you with zero fucks. They have really been pushed to this point. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I feel like the divine masculine wants to verbally, like, stand firm. And, and you know, these changes are major. And they're trying to learn how to speak up and say how they feel and address things so they just don't lead things in a fucked up way where they end up walking away with fucked up karma. I feel like a, a lot of the things with Divine Masculine is if they just open up their mouth and speak and say how they feel and just be a man about shit, a lot of the fucked up karma that they get won't even happen. Be a man about your shit and speak up. You don't have no hope for this situation. So be honest with this person. Let this person know. Like, cause I feel like you about to walk away from this situation. And if this person has a baby, especially if you know that a baby is coming on the way, but you got other options, it's like this girl is over here waiting for this baby to come. Either she already has a newborn baby, or this is someone. Because I feel like the divine masculine is patient. Is being patient, waiting for this person to have a baby. Seven of Pentacles. They planted a seed here. But the divine masculine has seven other, you know, three or four other options on the side. So the divine masculine is dealing with probably like four different women all at the same time. And he about to climb that ladder and jump in one of they motherfucking trees. And he don't give a fuck which one it is. I really do feel like he just, he's just waiting for her to have this baby. Figure out what the fuck he got to do to deal with this shit. Um, you know, because he already planted the seed. He got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got to deal with it. He know that this shit is happening very soon. He knows that this is happening very soon. And I feel like he feels divine timing is at play in his life. Um, he he. I feel like the divine masculine feels like his true love is going to come back to him very soon. I really do feel like this situation has changed him and has opened up his eyes. And he, I think, knows who he really loves, where his true love lies. And I feel like, you know... He knows that his true love is worth waiting for. And I, I feel like he's saying to me, like, she won't talk to me. She won't talk to me. But um, he feels like very soon he's going to figure out a way. Um, he's going to figure out a way. Because his material world is getting better. I just feel like he's still in a karmic situation. I feel like he can provide for... The divine feminine, his divine feminine, who he feels is his divine feminine. He can provide for her on a material base, but he just don't know how to not have all these karmic situations going on. He don't know how to not have these secrets going on all the time. So, divine masculine, this was very interesting for sure. Very interesting indeed, you guys. 
Mm -hmm. I want to be nosy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm sorry, y'all. All these interruptions because I got to go get my kids, y'all. Please give me some guidance in regards to what's going on in the shadows of the Divine Masculine, please. The 11th and the 12th, what is he feeling? What is this? He's feeling emptiness. He feel empty inside, y'all. No, because, no, oh my God, I feel so sad. Like, I feel like this, this aching feeling kind of... I feel like this weird feeling down, like... Um, in my lower back. I feel like their back hurts. What is it says disconnected? They're trying. They were disconnected. But they're getting themselves back connected with spirit. They feel pitiful right now. And they're trying to stop being so secretive. But I feel like they have pain in their back. I hear I don't have no one to rub my back anymore. Like, I don't have no one to rub my back. My back. What is this? Escapist. They're about to figure a way to escape the fuck out of this situation, y'all. Okay. So, we about to go, y'all. We about to go. Yeah. If y'all are with the Divine Masculine, if y'all are the karmic, and if y'all are pregnant, he's about to leave. I done told y'all that before. I'm going to tell you again. It's come up numerous amounts of times in my reading, y'all. I, I don't know what else to tell you. He feel empty inside. He feels empty inside, and he's just trying to reconnect. He's trying to reconnect and just be a decent person right now because he feel empty. Like, he know... He feel like he he just he he feel like I'm it's like I move like I don't have no soul sometimes and he don't know why he do this shit. He feel pitiful. He don't know why he is this way. He feel pitiful. I feel like it's something hereditary. It's something that he can't control. He don't want to be this secretive, sneaky person wearing his mask all of the time, you know. And I feel like instead of facing it. He just runs away. Like, he just runs away. He don't know. He he really don't know. And I really want to say, I want the divine. Because he really done got himself into some shit, y'all. He done really got himself into some shit that he can't get out of this time. And it's like, you can try to escape this shit if you want to. This person was extremely misguided. But he's, he's seen the light now. Like, he don't have no choice but to feel, see the light. He was just trying to fill a void with the... The, with the divine feminine he didn't mean for this to happen he didn't mean for this to happen y'all he really didn't he did not mean for this to happen non-action he's taking a non-action approach i don't feel like he's going to be an active father i don't I, i'm and I, and I don't mean to like say that to be fucked up but i'm telling you the truth i'm telling you the fucking truth I want to see what he got to say to this comic or whoever this person that he about to have his baby with or whoever this is. Because it don't even matter if this person has a baby or not. It, it could even just be that y'all live with each other. You know what I'm saying? And he might be about to just leave because he feels, you know what I'm saying? He was just trying to fill the void. You know what I'm saying? And things got too real. Shit got too real. And now he about to try to escape. He still feel empty. What does the Divine Masculine have to say to the, the karmic? Whoever this is that had his baby. I have to do something else right now. Please try to understand. Okay, so if you are the karmic that's dealing with the divine masculine or just the, you know, if you're the one currently dealing with the divine masculine and you know that you got him by getting in the middle of someone else's situation. So what you put out comes back. He's about to do to you. 
what he did to the person that he left to come with you. Except for you of being left with a baby. And all that he can say is, again, I just have to do something else right now. Please try to understand. Not that I love you. Not that I care. What he said. I got to do something else right now. Ain't that what he was doing with you? Try climb your ladder. Because y'all was just friends. Right? Yeah. So, anywho. Um, do I want to give you anything else? I don't. Peace.